Hello guys! This is Viria and this is my new video. Someone on YouTube, I think Lin, 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 I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically someone suggested me to draw something and talk about how I use brushes and what I use them for, so yeah, I'm doing that, or at least I'm trying to. I'm gonna draw Hazel because I feel like she's just very fitting for different kind of brushes. Um, so let's start, as I already did already did <laughs> uh, so whenever I sketch or line art I use my airbrush tool uh, I have like the most important you need to know about this is that the minimum minimum size is set on like 56 percent just so um, the brush and the brush pressure doesn't get it way too thin you know and uh, it's kind of all even and soft um, and I use it with watercolor texture like watercolor A and which is set on 52 I think <laughs> uh, I don't think this is a set like this is a custom mm, texture and I'm pretty sure I made it at some point but I don't rem remember how I actually did that so I'm sorry for that but you can choose basically any paper textures that is already in paint or say or like Photoshop or wherever you're drawing and it will work it just uh, pretty much softens the lines if I can say so so it looks great because I love my lines being so soft and kind of fluffy maybe a little bit just so it's more, uh, uh, maybe it kind of reminds me of traditional art in this way, as in you're drawing with paper and pencil and like the paper texture and the pencil kind of work together and it looks so soft and nice, so I just tend to do that. Um, basically, airbrush is what I use for line art and sketches all, all, all the time. This is what I use it for and that's kind of it. Like, it never was for any, anything else, I think. At least I don't think. You can probably do exactly the same with actual brush tool or like pen tool or whatever, but I'm just using airbrush because it's so soft. Next, I'm using air, same airbrush, but for Hazel's hair because it's so kind of soft and fuzzy. Is this the word? I'm not sure if this is the right word for that, but... I hope that is. Uh, I use the same airbrush but with um, aquarel texture. So the like there is actual hair texture of the brush itself and I have don't have to actually draw it like with the usual brush. It kind of helps to make the hair seem so soft and more natural, uh, more authentic if I can say so. So that's that's pretty much it for the hair, and I use the same for the when I when I'm coloring this kind of hair. Uh, I think it would be easier if I actually recorded my voice when I was drawing, but it would just sound like because I'm kind of very intense drawer and it's very loud and it would hurt my voice and everything. Uh, then I use my beloved overlay layer on top of the drawing and uh, here try to not use like something very light because it's gonna make all, all the colors way too pale, you know. Um, so that's not something we want to do in this case. Uh, so yeah, overlay tool. Overlay layer, sorry, not overlay tool. Um, after that I'm doing my usual flat coloring. I'm making new layers underneath my sketch layer, or this kind of works as a line I... <laughs> my tongue doesn't want to talk. It works as the line art layer too, because I'm too lazy to actually line art it, and it's pretty clean sketch. So. Uh, for the coloring, I use my brush, and it also has a watercolor A texture, but it's kind of a little bit more subtle. Uh, comparing to the airbrush texture uh, Just so it's still kind of soft, but not too soft, you know, just so it doesn't end up looking streaky and the coloring is even uh, 
What else about brush? Oh, I set my minimum size of the brush to 5% because um, this way it doesn't make the strokes too thin, like way too thin, because I don't like it. It kind of uh, ends up looking, I don't know, not too great in my opinion. So it said so not much, but not the minimum minimum. Um, say same thing with coloring hair. I'm doing my uh, around the face. I'm doing it with usual watercolor A texture, and that's it. But uh, closer to the edges, and when the actual um, threads of hair come into play, I used aquarel or like mine. Basically, these are the, tex uh, the textures that I think that I made at some point, but um, I don't remember how, so I'm pretty sure I made them, but I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure they aren't uh, in the usual set of paint tools, say. So, ta-da! New threads, new threads! I'm kind of messy and so soft-looking, and this is why I really, really love drawing this type of hair, because it just... Uh, I don't know how to explain this in English, uh, but it looks way more like hair than the way I usually draw hair, I guess. Um, more like you can touch them. So yeah, little heart, very soft and very pink. <laughs> um, then on the layer underneath my hair layer and above my, well, skin layer, uh, this is just the traditional purple shirt, and that's it. That's not very interesting. Uh, more blushes. Uh, whenever I shade and use like overlay or multiple multiply sort of things, I use marker tool because it's very subtle and uh, like it's always translucent in a way. I use marker and um, the brush settings are on shape cross and this is the one that comes with paint will say I think uh, just so it's not like uh, just so the shading aren't really all too blurry and uh, kind of has texture to it um, as usual I do my overlay layer that is warm tones and another one that is cold hue this is basically everything, everything, this is something that I always do, like on every single piece, I'm just very sunny person, so I like to so add my sun and reflexes to every piece, basically they all live in very sunny world. All <laughs> um, oh, more like eye details, uh, I always do that on the highest layer there is, just so it uh, kind of overtops the sketch layer or the line art layer and it's kind of more like the eye there. I don't know how to explain it. It shows more if you end it, end it, add it on top. <laughs> um, I'm adding even more over the layers. You can count me literally saying over the layer, over the layer. Uh, even more sun, that's it. I don't even love sunny like weather so much. I love autumn and gloomy days and like my dark dark soul likes it but drawing the sun is something that I really enjoy and always do so be here with me. I know this is the thing I'm doing over and over again but I don't care. <laughs> I like it. Uh, this is where I did I think a little bit more uh, threads to her top of her head because it felt a little bit too flat so I added even more volume <laughs> super voluminous here <laughs> um, now editing I always edit in open canvas this is the first program I actually used to draw uh, at least this is a program I started to draw but paint will see is much better in this case I always add lighten layer of like dark dark blue just so there is a hue and all my dark lines actually kind of blue toned and then I open it in the uh, in the paint will say again, and I add some hue and some luminosity to the drawing. But whenever you draw your characters, kind of be careful with that, and just so it's not too light. 
and ta-da! All done! <laughs> I, it took me like 20 minutes to draw that, so the video is 10 minutes, just so I can list over that, but thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed at least a little bit, maybe it was helpful, maybe not, but um, this is what I try to do, and uh, these are my brushes. Thank you for watching, and bye!